while King K. Rool gets nerfed, Palutena receives a re-hit. So, you know, her stuff uh, moves honestly, faster, but no changes. My favorite thing about this game so far is there is no clear best character. Yes. Because, like, like people are saying it's Pichu, and some people are like, it's Paldu, and it's like, you know what, there's... They're both good. There's a lot of good characters in this game. Wolf's good. Lucina's good. Absolutely. And I will make an argument. Um, while two uh, very good candidates for high tier in this game, uh, Lucina and Rob are on the screen, is that uh, a lot of the impressions I feel are down to how easy some characters are to pick up. Uh, a lot of people, especially people who play Wolf, will say Wolf is very easy to pick up. Marcina um, has a lot of carryover from Smash 4. A uh, good amount of players towards the end of the lifespan. Rob, a bit more of a setup heavy character. Palutena, kind of easy to pick up. So I feel that maybe as the game goes on, we'll start to see a lot more complex characters sort of shift upwards. Maybe not hit top or high tier, but I do think we'll see changes as the game moves on. Ooh. Oh, they missed the tag. It sent flying through to the stage spike. Dill taking that first stock away from Mystery. Now, Mystery was one of those champions back in the day for Marth. He was like, he actually got wins on the best player of all time for Smash 4 against Zero. Multiple set wins. At first, he, at one time, I think he was almost leading in sets until Zero started to adapt to him. But, uh, you know, definitely has a legacy to, uh, be behind him. Still hasn't found his, like, wings yet in Smash Ultimate, in my opinion. He's still trying to find his, uh, way around there in the major scene, but still a threat nonetheless. Opting to go with Lucina this time around. He tried Marth for the longest time in this game, and then he just realized that Lucina is just overall better. Mm -hmm. Mar the While Marth has to rely on tippers, Lucina? Yeah, very consistent, and many people make the argument that uh, tipper isn't worth it. Like, tipper will be something like, oh, 13 damage, where Lucina gets, I don't know, 11 and a half or 12, and then if Marth misses the tipper, it's like 8. Yeah. So... Uh, Lucina very consistent, and honestly, the skill from Mr. E still shows. I think part of it is so many new matchups that you never would have had to learn before. Most people aren't going to have a Palutena matchup experience going into the yeah. game from Smash 4, and she's way different even if you did. All right, very good stage spike in return. Dill should be able to come back from that. Tries to yeah. edge guard with the counter, which was a call out. So Rob has that fuel meter where it's depending on how much fuel is left in his tank, he's able to hold on to that up beam. He needs to wait to get back down on the ground to recharge it. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that sometimes he doesn't use his entire gas tank. There we go, gets the kill. That's going to be a confirm off of that. Not, Not enough quite, to actually though. send the stock, though. Mr. E does know the DI. He's familiar enough with this matchup. All right, very good there. 172%, throwing out some act. He throws at the back air just to make himself face uh, the actual stage with the turnabout. Yep. And Dill playing very passive here because he knows a lot of his out of shield options will beat Lucina's if she lands on him with it. So uh, very hard for Mr. E to get in at this point. All right. Landing up air into up B. I have not seen that one. Cute confirm. Very <laughs> cute is the word. All right. Okay, you're gonna try to go for there. this edge guard. Now the thing is, whenever Rob goes for that, he can no longer use air dodge. Oh, so, not once? Yeah, no. he, oh, once once he commits to the up B, it's been like that since Brawl. He cannot commit to an attack. He just ha or an air dodge. He has to like go in. He can do aggressive options. That's when you can capitalize with, especially when you have a sword like Lucina. Oh my God! That was looking like a Smash Four setup over there. I mean, the thing is, he got him. He was hoping that he was gonna get antsy and use the roll onto the stage. And Mystery has yet to go for that. So Dill was hoping that, that was, this would be the actual time that he does. So he had that up smash at the ready, and it would have got him the game. So I understand why he decided to go for that option. <laughs> All right, tries right to call him. him out on his shield. Try to go for a triple with that down tilt. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he might be at a little too high of a percent for that to work, but that is a thing he can do. Uh, Good, saving the double dumb. jumps. Not nah. being able to get back to the stage, though, and Dill's going to be taking game one from Mr. E here in Loser's Semis. Mm -hmm. And Dill showing he's... I feel like I say this about a lot of players, but Dill is very solidly patient uh, through the end of Smash 4's lifespan here at House of 3000. Very known for his Diddy Kong play, very optimized, very patient, very unwilling to take a whole lot of risks. And we see here when Dill has the advantage and he plays back, he will play back. He's like, oh, you know, maybe I could go off for this. I'll, like, I'll go for a hit here or there. I don't need that much. And then he'll go for a tornado. Scoop your ass up, kill you up. Yes, sir. I think he said 60, 60, 70, it starts killing? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Very good. <laughs> yeah. So now we got Smashville coming up as the counter pick. No battlefield or empty here allowed. Pretty good stage for Lucina. You know, like I said, Smashville is a pretty small stage. It allows her to be able to like try to control the pace of the state, uh, the entire battlefield. Mm -hmm. Not allowing Rob, who wants to sometimes, you know, find some breathing room so he can charge his laser, charge his projectiles. Absolutely. Instead, it just has to go into this very close quarters match. And this is the smallest stage in terms of length, if I'm not mistaken, correct? This yes. or Battlefield, one of the two. Yes. So this one very small. Uh, platform Not does as small as WarioWare. 
Not, <laughs> not as small as WarioWare, but we don't run that here. Not at the moment. We'll see. Uh, I feel uh, stageless. We're still trying to develop a lot of characters. Uh, I think WarioWare has pretty much been shut down. Yeah. <laughs> no one's been running that. It's got good music, man. Oh yeah. Everything else questionable. Those lyrics, man. All right. Oh, Alright, so spacing out well. Did you see how far that is? Going for another confirm, but that combo was punishable on hit. So a little bit questionable why he wanted to go for it. There it gets this stage spike. And Mr. Know, ready. Mr. E was only using that up B as a get off me option. Okay. It's gonna fall into there. Everyone's exploding. Two stock match here on Smashville. <laughs> Less yeah. than a minute has gone by. All They're right. just slugging it out. Absolutely. They both got the swipe too. Lucina and Rob both. They both smack you away. Yes. They're throwing their full bodies into it. This isn't anything to play patient with. Not for the carrot. Exactly. All right. Yeah, so yeah. trying to make good use of dropping down from the platform there, but Dill always in his face and ready to punish. Yeah. That was a misspaced uh, forward air too. You saw him like run right into the shield. Dill trying to get that, that once again, the triple down tilt was a little bit too far away. Mystery had, goes for, you realize that Mystery likes to go for Dolphin Slash whenever he's being comboed because it's a really good burst to get off me moves. It comes out super quick, has some invincibility on the startup. Yep. So, of course, it is also very punishable and very, uh, yeah. It's like a short Heart commitment in a yes. fighting game. Like Wake they, up it's really good, and it, once it, if it lands or in the beginning, but if they see it coming, it is extremely punishable. Absolutely. Get up there. Reverse aerial rush back here. My man is flying. Yep. And very difficult to punish that even if it doesn't hit. Gets him with the up the out of shield. That is also a Smash 4 classic. Yeah, dude. Another short you out of shield. Mm -hmm. So the thing with that is that um, Mystery, the times I've been seeing him on stream, it seems like he's trying to use that, maybe not gratuitously, but far more than I would expect. Um, and threatening an invincible reversal is always something you want to do, but um, stuff like ending the combos with it where it was unsafe seems like a little bit much. We'll see. All right, as the top keeps him off stage, tries to go for the down air combo off of the top there, which would have been super sick, but doesn't quite get it. Well, Still he, had, he had him off stage with that as double jump and the gyro in control, so I respect Mystery's decision to want to go off there and try to like capitalize on that. Couldn't and find, you know, find his mark. Ooh, but, good tech. Yeah, the tech saving Dill's life. I mean, uh, R button a day keeps death away, man. Okay. Great counter, Mystery. Counter? Recognizing that Dill was going to go for the up air afterwards. Extremely smart setup. I didn't grab. even know there were that many frames. I'm going to go for the counter on that. Smart stuff. Absolutely. Okay, there he goes. Still chilling on that stage. Going to re-grab onto the ledge. I like that he didn't go for the ledge immediately because Mystery had an F smash waiting for him. Goes for the Dolphin Slashes to get him off him. Mm -hmm. Playing super aggressive there it off is. stage. Gets the forward air. Not no. enough to get the kill just yet. Still has 100. He's giving him off him. One more swipe. One more <laughs> death. One more game. Mr. E taking it into a 1-1 one, one matchup. Goodness gracious. And Rob with so much to mix up his recovery. Problem is, is that if you get those right reads, if you connect once, twice, he starts running out of options. Oh, my fuel's running out. Oh, I've air dodged a little too much. I'm running out of the invincibility. And if you see right here, he tries to go through again, and he runs out early. Not gets happening. Gets clipped. Mr. E with a very solid presence off stage there. That's excellent. Swipe him away. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it, like, it went for the air dodge because... I think there might have been like a thing where Dill was using a lot of air dodges to try to get back to the stage, so it might have been stale. Mm -hmm. But the forward air is, you know, he caught like the very like last tail end of it, so like the air dodge frames wore off. Yes. So he might have been able to like, you know, abuse that whole like de decay system where if you use too many rolls or air dodges or slot dodges that they, they don't, the invincibility doesn't last as long. Mm -hmm. And that may not have been an intentional thing, but I think when you do hit someone out of it, um, the little the wave that people make when they air dodge, the way they move their body. I think um, if you let the uh, air dodge have full freshness, uh, then they'll start going into recovery when it's vulnerable. But if it's stale, you'll start seeing that they're still in the same pose and they'll get hit out of it, which is what it looked like Dylan had with right there. So taking to town and city for the counter pick, I'm not actually sure what the reasoning behind this would be. I assume platform. Big stage. It allows them a lot of room to play around with and try to keep, stay away from Mystery's close quarters combat style, CQC. Yes. But, and also, you know, Town City has a little bit smaller blast zone, so he's able to get kill confirms off of down throw a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, Mr. E is turning up the heat right now. If only he can put those blast zones a little farther behind him. Yeah, my man. I mean, the thing uh, is, those spikes are a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Tries to get really greedy there with Tornado. He wants to take advantage of those short blast zones. Not having anything off of that. So, Mr. E coming back from losing game one to a very close game two set to now taking a strong lead at the beginning of stage three. Trying to avoid that back here. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. 
Still spacing out. He's still trying to pay this a little bit more patient. So okay. Jaro Rai point blank in his face. Good chase and good reaction on the missed tech. Gets him off stage. Edge guard scenario once again fails the back air. Actually lands before the hitbox comes out. That is unfortunate and a punish scenario for Mr. E. This keeps going. No tech, to, uh, no way for him to land that down on the ground. That's one, one thing that Rob sometimes struggles with. Once he's up above state, like above above the uh, opponent with no double jump, he can struggle to find his way back down to the stage. Absolutely. And Especially his fuel starts to run low and he can't quite mix up his landing. Uh, that should be a kill for yeah, Yes, sir. Yes. I mean, the thing is, because he was at too high a percent, he couldn't even get the counter out in time. Mm -hmm. Like he did that one time. So here we go. Two stocks apiece. Uh, Dylan with just one back air, forward air off stage away from death. Mm -hmm. Trying and to stall a bit. Yep. There even. Yeah. Yep. Good call out. That's very low commitment. Covers a lot of options. And if he lands, he can go for a uh, roll get in punish as well. And he just starts right off the bat with 31 damage in his, in his potential last stock. Yep. The parry on the Nair. It was late hit though, so he's not going to pick up a punish on that one. So early hit Nair is kind of hard to react to, but if you get the parry, you get a punish. But late hit Nair, although reactable, if he's landing, it's very difficult to get a punish on. So you really have to be on top of Dill's habits with the Nair. And honestly, that counter from Mystery looked like a reaction because if neutral air does have a like a wind up to it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you can normally tell with the spacing as well whether oh, or not the first hit's going to hit. Hold on a sec. Mystery's going for this edge guard. Yep. He some four he's airs putting ready up to go. those fares. Slapping this man away. You're Dill, not getting back to the stage. Dill is praying to God that he has his platform to play with right now because it's, it's oh. the only reason why he's staying alive. This oh, is dangerous, greedy though. Greedy counter. But Dill needs to get this kill right now if he wants to stand a chance. He's got him at 55%. If he can just try to steal this stock early, All right, he could still be a contender for this fight, but Yo! not happening. Gets the back here out, out of shield. shield. Gets him. <laughs> he is done for. My man, Mr. E, bringing it back from what looked like a set that was going to be insanely in Dill's favor. He's going to move on to grand finals to face off against Sinji. Still going down with a fourth place finish. And what an absolute adaptation. That was, he reacted to the whiff throw. He was like, this is my time. Yeah. If, I, if I'm being, uh, if I, if I want to be real for a second, mm -hmm. I would love for Sinji to go all the way with this tournament. He's one of my favorite players from like the Smash 4 era. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've always been like, man, he's not just, he's just not picking up ultimate the way I want him to, you know? Like he's, he's been struggling with it. 